It's the talk of people in the know. Welcome to the G Block Show. This is the G Block Show, episode five. Now this, now this is a story worth worth reading. If, if ever there was, cell phones making kids grow horns. That's right. Shocking new research says that cell phones are making kids grow horns. You know, if that isn't just proof to you that these things are just plain evil, demons spawn these cell phones. I hope, by the way, you're not listening to me on your cell phone. If you are, go take a look in the mirror. <laughs> no, I'm not just if you're a kid. I'm just kidding. It's only if you're a kid. I don't think I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Most of my audience is adults, so so I'm not worried about it. But um, but anyway, you might want to take the phones away from the kids. Unless you don't care if they grow horns. I personally don't care. I really don't. I, you know, it's like, you know, what's the difference these days? They got all these other rings and jewelry and stuff hanging off their face and, you know, pink hair and well, why not? Horns fits right in. Yep. Strain my, it says here, yeah, that's right. Yeah, let me think about it. Okay, so it says, says here, strain may be causing the growth spur at the base of the skull. The base of the skull? That's no place for horns. The base of the skull? That's a bad place for horns. I'm, I'm thinking they're going to come out the top of the head. I mean, isn't that, that's where that's where horns are supposed to come out, not the base of the that, that Well, that changes everything. I don't know if I like that. Um, yeah, I was saying that a freakish bone spur, but what the hell? Kids know everything. They'll figure it out. They'll figure out how to deal with that. They're, uh, they're like most kids. They'll probably just embrace it and uh, be on their cell phones all the more, saying, hey, you know, I'm getting horny. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Yeah, you can see it right now, right, right. You know, we all remember in school. You know, it's like, you know, well, you got the cooties, that sort of thing. Well, now they can all go, hey, you know, you're getting horny? Yeah, I like it. And then, and then like, hey, come here, come here. Hey, let me just fill the, the base of your skull and see if you're getting horny. <laughs> oh, to be a kid these days, huh? What fun, what fun. You know, it wasn't like that in my day. We were all afraid of getting the cooties. Now we all now 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 kids probably wish they could get they 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 had horns. Rude doctors and surgeons with bad attitudes. Oh yeah, because I know why it's the god complex. Yep, and they think everybody's beneath them, and so therefore they're you know arrogant and rude and and they're they're real jerks. Uh, snooty surgeons could kill you. Well, <laughs> don't tell me. Yeah, I think we're just gonna move on from that one. Um. Try to stay the hell out of the, the hospital if you can. Yeah, yeah, right. And if you do end up having to go into the hospital, okay, you know, you've got your surgeon. One thing you can do is say, you know what? I bet, you know, if it's a, you know, I just bet you couldn't save my life if you had to. I just bet you couldn't. You know, that sort of thing. Because then, then they've got to prove it to you. And no, all, you know, their ego gets, their ego gets in the way and they're like, oh, I'll show you. So you don't want to, you know, that you want to be smart. It's just like if if you're ever in front of with a cop or cops, you know, and you don't want them to shoot you, tell them, go oh, say, shoot me, shoot me, beg them to shoot you. They'll never do it. So if you get you have to do this with a with a surgeon, you know, you're going going for surgery. Don't say, oh, I'm sure everything will be all right and everything. It's like, yeah, he was like, I'll show you. No, you say, no, I bet you you think you're a hot hot ass. You think you're a hot Hot shot surgeon. I bet you can't save my life this time. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, that's just what they'll do. They'll have to. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Gold Bloom ain't got no game. God, it says here, Geek, Geek, Gold Bloom ain't got no game. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, he's made a movie on. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if he's got game or not. I'd have to. I can't even remember anything he was in. Uh, I might like him. I, I think I do. But to say he ain't got no game, I don't know. Give him, give him a game then. Jeez, come on. Be, be nice for once. Tabloiders. I mean, loiters. Yeah, here's one. I, I. I I, I, you know, it says here, uh, this is just for, uh, uh, to, to subscribe to this magazine here. It's a, you know, it's a tabloid. You know, it says here on this, just this, this kind of come on little ad, uh, it says Charles, 
I mean, Prince Charles motive for murdering Diana. I think we, we already know what we don't, you know, come on, people. <laughs> if you're if you're that damn you know, stupid, it's just, uh, you know, forget it. It's not going to work. You know, you know, nothing, nothing, nothing's going to get through to you. Uh, psycho lion, so it says, now it says psycho, psycho sea lions. I did not know that sea lions could be psycho, but apparently they can, just like humans. There's there's always apparently some bad ones in the, the the bunch, but this this one ambushes a teen. This teen's just out having a good time um, in the in the ocean of all of all places. We gotta watch it when you go in the ocean. That that's a that's their world, baby. That's their world. Okay. Yeah, that used to be ours millions and millions of years ago, but we gave it up, and well, I'm sure we didn't fare that well back then either, but. Anyways, the sea lion leapt out of this California surf and mauled this teenager. This teenage girl. Just now come on. What 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 did she do to provoke him? You know she did something. Well, she was she must have been splashing. She's walking around. Um you know, maybe she's maybe she I don't know. Maybe she it says here, yeah, right here. It says she was jumping around, dancing. Just having fun, just having fun. But the sea lion doesn't see that. The sea lion's like, "What the hell are you doing in my ocean, babe? You're you're making me a you're making me a nervous wreck. Get out of my ocean, and you know, just to kind of help you along, I'm gonna take a little nip at you here and there. Come I'm, I'm on. Anyway, they were just she was just having fun with her friends. They were all taking funny. They were taking pictures. Of her, and they were all just laughing, and then, yep, here comes Psycho Sea Lion that just attacked her. She said she felt she felt it on her leg, and then she looked down and freaked out. <laughs> she said, and she she admits she didn't know what it was. Then then witnesses told her, hey, that was uh, that was the that was a crazed uh, animal. That that was that was the that was the Psycho Sea Lion. And so now she she's got this little bite on her leg, and she's kind of like a celebrity, apparently. Bloodthirsty, bloodthirsty. Now, he, yeah, come on, bloodthirsty, bloodthirsty sea lion attack triggered by poisoned fish. It's saying now the fish is poisoned. Well, if that's the case, then let that be a lesson to humans. Let that be a lesson to humans. Stop poisoning the fish. They they don't like it, and uh, they'll go psycho on us. All right. Oh, let's see. We're getting kind of near the end here. Oh, here's one. <laughs> Convicted con con convict Cosby's fantasy world. Yeah, he's an. It says here he's an 80 year old sicko, is prancing around prison like he's a wronged saint. Well, you know, if this is all true, everything that happened, and I have no reason to doubt it, he was a sicko long before he was 82. In fact. Some people don't, yeah, they never really brought this out, but when you can have any girl in the world, and then you choose to have them when they're unable to do anything, well, that's kind of like, what is that, nephrophiliac, nephro, nephrophiliac or something like that, you know, you want a corpse. Now, that is pretty sick, but they never brought that out, really. I wonder sometimes about his son. What about his, what do you mean, what about his son? He was killed there, coming off of a exit, or going on an exit there somewhere. In L.A., and I just, I don't know, I just wonder if he didn't tell dear old dad, hey, I got some pictures or some tapes or something. If you don't give me some money, I think that uh, they might find their way to the public. The next thing you know, he mysteriously gets killed. And then for some reason, Cosby just doesn't miss a beat. Doesn't seem to phase him. Yeah, well, could be something to that, you know. I, I, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that story that well, but hey. I'm certain that it is, I'm certain it's worthy of the tabloids, at least. And if there's some truth to it, then, you know, you probably won't find it in the tabloids. But it, but anyway, but, but let's just, okay, all right, yeah, well, now let's see where we are here. Kelly Ripa, which some people don't realize this, but I don't, really don't give a rip for Kelly Ripa. I think she's a nice kid and all that, but, but, you know, just not my cup of tea. It says that uh, she's having a $1 million second wedding. Good Lord. One million dollar second wedding, uh, yeah, yeah, a, a gala 
at her Hamptons home, and she, of course, wants Chef, Chef Gordon Ramsay. Well, why not? Why the hell not? Jeez Louise. When you've got it all, you might as well have it all. Well, and it's not even a say it's a second wedding, but it's to the same guy. She's just renewing, she's just renewing her vows. <laughs> oh, my goodness. God, yeah. You know, it's been 23 years. Those old vows are getting pretty stale. We better do something about it before this marriage just dissolves right under our feet. I mean, like, these vows are about to expire. So, let's renew them with a million dollar second wedding. And everybody, of course, can bring her all kinds of goodies like she needs another thing in her life. See, that's just it. That's why I don't care for Kelly Ripa. I, I, I just, I mean, you know, she, like I say, she's nice enough and everything, but if you've got that kind of money and you're that kind of funny, jeez, can you find something different, something a little better to do with it? And then here we have what they've got here on the very last page is a recliner. No, that, that that's the back. I'm sorry. You know, the, it's, it's an ad for a recliner. You know, might as well get one. What the hell? You only go around once, right? Yeah. But uh, anyway, it's a recliner you can sleep in. You don't just sit in this thing. Of course, that's the whole idea of a recliner. You get to, you know, really kick back. Sometimes better better than bed, I've always said, especially if it's got vibrator and all that stuff. Uh, but this one says, you know, the simpletons, the spoiled little rich kid. Well, God, well, the, the Ripa was not spoiled, none, nothing there. But anyway, spoiled little rich kid, Paris Hilton, and her equally pampered Chihuahua by the name of Tinkerbell. That dog must be, what, 60, 50 years old by now or something like that? So should she. She's got to be getting up there. My God. I mean, she was like in her 20s, like 20, 25 years ago, it seems. Anyway, I just, you know, she's a rich kid. Yeah, sure, she can come by a lot of money there, and I won't go into the whole thing. But they say Tinkerbell. So the dog is, in fact, an animal. And then they're calling, now they're saying that Paris is a, a party, is a party animal. So, so they're both animals. Um, she traded, uh, and oh, party animal. Oh, I'm sorry, Nicole Richie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so Paris, it's what they're saying here is Paris Hilton has a dog who's an animal named Tinkerbell. And then she has a friend who's a party animal named Nicole Richie, which is, of course, Lionel Richie's daughter. Very spoiled, rotten brat. Uh, traded Beverly Hills in for a real life farm. Yeah, now now you're talking. God, just mix it up with the animals. Let's get more, man. You know, so she got the dog, she got the friend. Now she might as well have a you know cow and a few chickens and you know pigs and that sort of thing. See here, it says here, simple life is in which distributed on Fox, another animal on Fox in 2003 and died. But for the first time, two years later, after the stars were in a cat fight. There you see all the play on, on animals uh, there. Another network revived the series a year later because apparently they, these girls ended up in jail and got DUIs and all that. But that they, they, they crashed and burned. So that's too bad. Too bad for them. I'm sure they can take all their millions that their, their parents have and they'll, they'll get by. Maybe they'll open up another, you know, maybe they'll open up an animal shelter or something. Do something decent for the world. Anyways, that's going to end it for this. That's going to end this whole thing because I'm out of Lloyd. I'm out of tabloid stuff here. That's it. All right. Well, that was great. Well, thank you. That yeah, was. It was. That uh, was great. That was great. Yes, indeed. That was great. So, until next time, you've been enjoying another episode of the G Block Show, and we hope you're telling your friends about the G Block Show. If you have feedback or suggestions or would like to be a G-Block Show sponsor, please contact us at gblockshow.com. Hey, yo, for the price of a fancy store-bought card, I will make you an online video card. You know, an invitation, greeting, birthday wish, get well, congratulations, anything and perhaps more than what you'd buy a traditional boring card for. I can make it for you. It's great because it's online and it can be shared or sent to anyone and everyone. No postage needed. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll agree that I'm way more entertaining and lovable than any paper card. And not to mention I'm a celebrity. Oh, it's so easy. All you have to do is go to www.gblockshow.com. And that's all one word, G Block Show. And then, of course, a little dot com. 
I'm very salty, and I can't wait to hear from you. Well, I can, but I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs> Don't miss the next G-Block show, which is episode 6.